Hey everybody, this is Brandon Wells and I'm here today to talk to you about an introduction to webmail. It's the Cobalt Banker Legacy email that you're provided for free uh, from being a broker here. Now we're going to take a look at this in the online office and just go through some simple steps. There will be later tutorials that go into more advanced details of how to do certain things, but I'm just going to get you up and running today. So I'm going to go ahead and open up uh, webmail. The first thing that you need to know is that every broker is given a cobaltbankerlegacy.com email address and it is your first name dot last name at cobaltbankerlegacy.com. Now I'm in the uh, webmail um, window here and I'm just going to give you a brief uh, synopsis here of what, what you're looking at and how to find certain things. So over on the left you can see your inbox and any of the folders that you've created as well as your contacts and the trash uh, for messages that you've deleted. The count right next to the side about how many messages are unread in that box and then the same with the trash. This is how many messages are unread in your trash. So if you've read all of them, deleted them, you move them over there, um, they will be, uh, you know, there won't be any number there. So the first thing is composing a new message. Uh, if you go up to new and go to message, you're going to be greeted with a little pop-up box that's a simple email um, layout. You're used to it if you've used Outlook or any other uh, email provider. You have your uh, to field, which if you click on this, you can get to your contacts book uh, and you can just add people that way or you can just go ahead and hand type them. To, carbon copy, and blind carbon copy, your subject, uh, any attachments, and then you have a basic word processor down here where you can change the font size, the color, a bunch of different options. Um, you can save it as a draft or you can go ahead and send the message. So that's a brief uh, look into the composition window. The next thing in order to comply with the Real Estate Commission, we need to make sure that we have a signature whenever we're sending real estate related emails. So if you'll come up here to Tools, Options, I'm not going to go through all these options, but feel free to take some time to look around in here. Um, you can kind of set up the webmail that you'd like, uh, the way you'd like it. Um, and like I said earlier, uh, if you're looking for more advanced tutorials like how to forward this email to an existing email account, um, go to the advanced section and you can find it there. But today we're going to set up a signature. Uh, it's just a plain text editor. You come in here and you can type out um, your email signature that will show up at the bottom of all your newly composed messages. Now a lot of people ask me, can I add my picture and color in different fonts? You can, however it requires some knowledge of HTML, um, which is hypertext markup language. Um, it's a pretty basic form of computer coding um, that you can format uh, text and make it you know, stick out the way you'd like to. Uh, if you're interested in HTML or want to learn more about it, you can go to Google and you can just type in HTML tutorials and you'll get some basic walkthrough instruction of how to use that. So once you get it all set up, you click on OK and you're set up, you're ready to start rolling in uh, webmail now that you have your signature and you know how to send new messages. Um, also here, before I go, um, in the middle here is the list of all your messages. If you want to preview a message, if you just click on it, you'll notice on the right hand side you'll get the preview window will display the message that you've selected. Um, so that's a quick run through through webmail. Please check out the advanced section for more detailed instructions and I hope you uh, stay tuned for future video casts. Take care and have a great day.